Uh, here's a little guide on honor mode. Uh, by guide, I mean I'm going to show you my experience with it. By experience, I mean if the series lasts till the end, well then follow the tips here and you should be good to go. By good to go, I mean this is my first time playing this on honor, but know that I've been wiped many times in tactician. Does, does that make me an expert? Anyways, let's get started. Uh, the character classes pretty much follow some guide a dude named Core Crap Snack Attack made. Eh. After slowing the video down by half, I was finally able to understand him and spec like he did. Uh, Sebel's gonna be a ranger slash summoner. I've been getting, I mean, uh, he's been getting many requests to do a ranger guide. I believe he intended his summoner guide to also be a ranger guide. If people still want a standalone ranger guide instead of what he has planned, uh, post below. I'll see what I can do. He can do. Uh, you, you get the point. Beast is going to start out as a generic warrior and go and adapt him as a go with the intent that he's going to try to tank everything. Going to give him a nice purple beard just for style points. Fane is going rogue. Yeah, not, not much flexibility in this class. He's just probably going to max being fine. If you don't make Fane have a mustache in your game, you're probably doing it wrong. I'm making my mage character Losa. Uh, the video series I saw hated on humans in general, but I have a secret love for redheads and think encourage is underrated. Plus a point in bartering is going to be super vital, and her story seems kind of cool. Uh, but remember, when taking an adventure with a crazy person, you better take the psychopath. If you ever wonder what the beginning sounds like when you have four instances of the game open, well, here we go. I think I've played the beginning like 50 times in the last three weeks. That's that's supposed to be a fun fact. But it just it just sounds kind of sad now. Basically, pick up anything worth a nickel. Uh, buckets can be used as armor for your head. Uh, since the way initiative works, it doesn't matter that all the characters lose one, they still will get a move every turn. It's it's pretty stupid, I know. I'm just taking stuff around here and trading with the Magisters to see if they have any useful crafting supplies, such as sticks and pieces of metal. You might also notice I'm taking every rope I can find. That's to hang myself if something goes wrong. Here I'm checking if Beast actually does have Lucky Charm, because it hasn't done anything yet. Crap skill, don't get. Just more looting, so I sped this up by a thousand percent. Uh, Adobe Premiere crashed on me twice. A lucky Charm, best skill, always remember to get it. There's a dude by the name of Eliden1012 Eliden who suggested an easy way to get XP at the start of the game. Uh, basically, spoilers, uh, when to go kills all the Magisters on this level of the ship about 40 seconds to the game, once you pass the door to get to the front of the ship. If we aggro every guard and run like hell there, she should kill them all, giving us XP for every kill. Uh, thanks, Lydon1012, you sure are better than the 1011 of you that came before. So we aggro these guys. Oiling them up apparently isn't enough to get them to wrestle, so we have to light something underneath their feet to get the hype going. Now let's roll. Our entire goal is to have us survive until we reach that door. Okay, shit, uh, Subble's dying and next to some nasty peeps. I'm gonna try to use the Dwarf to Fortifier for some survivability. I just, I just realized there's like 50 enemies in here. You better be right leading about this or we're gonna have to make a 1013 version of you. That dude, that dude sure is helping. Okay, Red Prince. I'm assuming you're mad because you couldn't join the Breakfast Club. It's it's only because we have different tastes in cereal. Oh uh, well, uh, it's still worth. Uh, I'm in too deep. I'm still gonna fortify Sybil.
So I just realized only one of us needs to actually get to Windigo, so everyone else just needs to not die. We'll adjust the tactics accordingly. Wow, I guess it's the thought that counts. Okay, I'll drink this potion, let's tank that attack and get to this door. Oh, it's- okay, shit, it's locked. Uh, I might have to wait till next turn to lockpick it. Uh, well, Sebel's more dead than her personality. It's fine, we can pickpocket some resurrection scrolls later anyways. Let's get these guys over to the middle of the ship here. I'd rather them attack the lane party members like Fon Ben Mezd. Okay, uh, here if you say his name backwards, he dies instantly. Uh, no one has ever tried and came out forming anything coherent though. Well, Los is dead too. Maybe humans are as terrible as they say. Okay, it's finally Fane's turn, and we finally made it. Okay, let's lockpick this door. Only took like three potions and two resurrection scrolls to get here, so it's still fine. It's, we're, good, we're good, we're fine. Yeah, I quit. That's as far as I'm taking this playthrough. I hope you learned a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. So I redid it all. Not being a complete dumbass this time, I had the door unlocked beforehand and made one of my characters stay by it while aggroing the guards in the beginning. It, it worked. So I reached Windigo, but nothing's happening. God damn it, uh, do I have to restart it again? Uh, looks like she's in the turn order now. Let's see what happens. There's like three magisters here who look really ripped, but little did they know I was dead all along. Why are some of my party members in conversation? There's been an attack, you say? Oh. Okay, thanks, fam. And it worked! 975, easy XP. Easy peasy. Wake up, everyone's dead. Uh, better run away before they blame the skeleton. Fun fact, apparently Fane loses his helmet after Windigo blows the ship up, rather than when your comrades abandon you. Okay, this chick is laying unconscious. As you know, people laying on their back are the ones most weak to backstabs. Okay, well here we have to put on our sneaking barrel. There's no chance we can easily steal from people who are passed out without this contraption. I'd make a joke about stealing, but Amy Schumer did it for me. Plus, we really need these resurrection scrolls. If Dragon Ball Z taught me anything, it's it's a pain collecting the Dragon Balls the first few times. Even more inventory management, just in case you guys haven't had your fix yet. I really wish you could switch characters when another person is already in conversation. Uh, for example, I didn't mean to interrupt whatever you would call a one-man standing and a one-man kneeling pair is, especially when the guy at the bottom looks so exhausted. I just want to be able to switch to the party member who actually has persuasion. Make it like they interrupt the conversation with a, I'll let you finish, but... I just find it counterintuitive since I'm mostly going to be using Beast to interact with the environment since he's the one with Lucky Charm. There better be a Leprechaun outfit in this game, now I think about it. Oh yeah, uh, this fight's really easy with four people. Honor mode is a complete breeze. More looting, looting, looting. At this point I'm just trying to see how fast I can actually make Adobe Premiere speed this up. I'm at 2000% right now.
So here we are fighting the meme dog. With four people, this fight is pretty much a joke. I'd make another tooth pun, but decided to make this one a little more tongue-in-cheek. So with the help from Squidward here, we only have these two bugs to fight. I just realized I forgot to switch out Bouncing Shield for Battle Ram. Okay, no, I didn't actually restart again. I remembered how annoying it was to create the four characters, so... Yeah. Playing this solo on Tactician with anything but a summoner, I almost always die to these guys. So with four people, not so much. Look at that perfect barrel goodness. We are definitely not restarting. I love how this is a weapon in the game. I'll just I'll just keep it just in case and turns into the ultimate weapon. I decided to level up my characters here since I hit level two, and I'm still on the boat. Thanks again, whoever it was, uh, waiting for number ten thirteen to tell me a better tip now. This is the tutorial section. That's why I'm skipping so much. I'm assuming anyone who's watching this beat the tutorial already. If you guys want me to go through conversations and not skip through them, let me know. Looks like the guys we stole from can't defend themselves, so let's help them out a bit. This is the reason I skipped, because I couldn't imagine forcing you guys to watch this at normal speed. This is why you never make a lizard wizard in your party. Silly core crap, your guides are for scrubs. So the science fact of the video. Uh, we are living in the Milky Way galaxy, which is on a course to collide with the Andromeda galaxy. When they collide, it is said that they will fuse together. The name of this fusion is currently being debated to either be Milkomita or Andromaway, which both sound like prescription drugs to me. Welp, uh, the Breakfast Club is now all washed up like some soggy Cocoa Puffs. Will our adventurers make it out? Will they encounter a military location, ironically named something positive? You decide. Vote for who will be kicking off the island in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.